Today I'm going to show you how to correct skin color in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find us on Twitter at Flurn. We got a really cool episode today. Basically what we're doing is we're taking an image and this was submitted to us by Ben Scott. It's got really, it's an awesome image, but the coloring I feel is just a little bit off. It's not so flattering when it comes to skin tones. So I'm going to show you guys kind of like how to adjust those skin tones, but still get the effects that I think Ben was going for in this image. So we're going to be doing a lot with like curves and hue saturation and color balance and uh, layer masking. And we're going to add some really cool style to this. And then we're going to color grade it at the very end. So this is our image by Ben. I really like this image. The scenery looks like it was, you know, shot somewhere rural. I like the smokestack in the background. And uh, the wardrobe is great, the camera here, the everything about it I really like. The, the fact that there are two models, not just one model. Um, but one thing that does kind of like get in the way of me like appreciating this image to the fullest yeah, are the skin tones on our subject. They're a little bit like bluish and a little bit desaturated. And that, in, in my opinion, like you, generally if you are going to be adjusting the color temperature of your image. So this comes in like white balance, like if your white balance is a little bit too cool, this can happen. Or if you just edit it a little bit in post-production, your skin tones can kind of get like really kind of washed out and a little bit cool. So it looks good on the background. I just think it, um, we need a little bit of work here on our subject. So that's what we're going to take care of. And then I'm going to go ahead and add that blue back in after the effect to kind of show you like how I might do it. Okay, so for our skin tones, we're going to grab an adjustment layer. I'm going to go down here to color balance. Okay, now color balance is really great because you can adjust the highlights, the midtones, and the shadows at the same time. I always recommend starting with the midtones. And what we want to do, skin is generally like a variation of orange. So we want to put a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow into the skin. There we go. And you can already see that the, the um, let's just bring this down a little bit more. You can already see the skin tones are looking a little bit more natural and it's kind of coloring the whole image. Let's go, go into our shadows and I want to put a little bit of red into our shadows and a little bit more orange as well. Okay, and now with our highlights, this is a time, like if you wanted to add some like blue and some cyan, things like that into your highlights, you could definitely do that into your highlights because highlights a lot of the time, especially with skin, that's just like reflected light. So that's the, the, high, that's the light that's gonna be like reflecting the environment. It's not actually the skin tone, it's just like, you know, whatever it happens to be reflecting. So. Um, this is a good time to kind of cool those down a little bit more. All right, so just a quick color balance layer and you can see what a difference we've made already. So that's basically like, you know, getting, getting some of that uh, like actual color correction out of the way. Now we're gonna go ahead and stylize the image a little bit more. I'm gonna grab a hue saturation adjustment layer. I just, I really like this yellow of the dress, but I wanna pop it out a little bit more. So we're gonna go to hue saturation and then I'm gonna click on this, let's go down here to yellows. And I'm gonna use my eyedropper here to click on the actual yellow of the dress. And that's just gonna see, you can see in this range that that'll actually change wherever I'm clicking on the eyedropper, right? So here's like, you know, going in like magentas and here we are in the yellows. So it's, you can, you can just use this to figure out where you actually wanna adjust. All right, and I'm just gonna crank my saturation up just a bit. So I kinda like that, I'd like that yellow to, you know, really come up. All right, let's grab another, let's go to our, um, I don't know, magentas, and we'll just see if I can grab this right over there, and we'll bring the saturation that up just a little bit as well. All right, that way our subjects are kind of standing out a little bit more. Okay, looking good. And let's see, I think that our skin tones here is still looking pretty good. I'm gonna go back to our master. Here we go. And this is where, like if your skin tones or whatever, they're like pretty good, you just need to adjust them a little bit. I'll just go to the hue saturation and hit like the up arrow or down arrow a couple times. And this will just bring the hue of the, of the entire image, either you know, to the right or to the left. So I'm just gonna bring this a little bit to the right. There we go. And I feel that helps out with our skin tones just a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and add like a little bit of a flare kind of coming off from the camera left. Cause I feel like this is a really good opportunity for that type of image. So we're gonna grab a new layer I'm gonna hit G for the gradient tool and let's use our radial gradient, okay? I'm gonna uncheck reverse. We just want this to be totally regular. And what I'm gonna do is actually grab this color. So hit B for the brush tool and then grab like, yeah, maybe that color right there. So we're not totally white. Okay, so we've got the color in the background and using the gradient, I'm just gonna click from the top left and drag right about there. Okay, this kind of just gives us like that, you know, faded 70s, like, whoa, there's a lot of light coming from the background, look. Um, which I like, so, you know, I'm not, 
I'm not judging. I like that look. Um, I just usually lower down the opacity a little bit so it doesn't take over your subject so much. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to give it a little bit more color. So I'm going to go down to curves, and then I want to warm this up a little bit more. I just, I'm a fan of like, especially she's got like a, a spring summer dress on with like flowers and stuff like this. And it's, you know, like the, with the hair and everything, I feel like this image should be a little bit warmer. So I'm going to go up here to our red channel and click and just drag that up a little bit. And we're going to go to the blue channel and I'm going to drag that down, which is going to put more of the highlights into my image. All right, let's zoom out and we can go ahead and close that down. And now maybe we don't want this to be visible everywhere. So I'm gonna hit Command I on the layer mask here. And then with my gradient tool, I can click from here down, just like that. There we go. And it's gonna give me that like nice highlight coming from the top left. So we can see there's the coloring. So there's kind of the before and the after with that. We've got the, hi the highlight and the coloring kind of coming through. All right, I think we're looking really great, guys. So this is a really good start for our image. And now, let's go ahead and shift click all those and now hit Command G. So we can see some nice fixes going on there and you can see like the, the skin just looks a little bit more natural and uh, I feel like everything kind of fits and balances just a little bit better. Okay, so that's kind of like a really good starting point. And now we can go ahead and add some of the color on top of that. Like if we wanted those like nice blues in the shadows, here's a great way to do it. We're gonna grab an adjustment layer and I'm gonna go to hue saturation again there we go. And I'm going to click on this colorize button. And now we can choose like a nice deep dark blue saturated or whatever we want to do. There we go. That looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this only visible where the underlying layer is darker. Okay, so we're just going to make this visible where the shadows are. And to do so, all we have to do is double click right over here. Okay, we'll bring up our layer style. And then I'm going to hold Alt or Option and just go from my underlying layer from the left to the right. So holding down Alt or Option, you just click on this little thing and then bring this from, sorry, this will be from the right to the left. There we go. And we're going to bring this one on in as well. Okay. And somewhere right about here, you don't want it affecting, you know, too much. Like over here, you can see the faces and everything still look kind of bad. But the really nice thing about this blend diff is that you can actually see exactly what you're doing as you go along. So it's, it's kind of like a no brainer a little bit but you'll be able to see it's bringing that nice blue into the shadow. So we still get a little bit of that effect that we want, but it's not so much like changing the skin tone of our face and like making that totally off. All right, looking great. And then here, if we wanted to, at the very end, I'm just gonna do a little bit of color grading. We're gonna put a little more blue in the shadows and then a little bit of yellow in the highlights. All right, so we'll go down to, let's grab a level adjustment layer and we'll go to our blue channel, pull up the blues a little bit and then pull the yellows in just a little bit. And what you can see is it's gonna put, like take our sky, and instead of being just like a white, it's gonna to go to yellow. All right, that looks really, really good. Okay, and then her face is just a little bit, it looks a little bit too saturated. So I'm just gonna to go to our hue saturation and we can just bring down the saturation on the image as a whole. Um, but then what we have to do, because this is, it just affects the entire image. So I'm gonna hit command I, to invert that and then just with a regular brush, I'll just paint it white right over her. Sure, we'll get her face too. You can see like, let's just zoom in so you guys can see. Sometimes if someone's face is too saturated, like here's the before, it just looks like it's, it's too like red and stuff like that. So we're just taking a little bit of the color out there and that's gonna help us just look a little bit more natural. All right, let's slow that down a little bit more. Okay, perfect. So there we go. Let's see the uh, before. This is without anything. So we can see the color is just, it's a little bit too cool for my taste because it does make our skin tones just look a little bit not, they don't look like um, as vibrant as they could. That's basically all it is. Um, so we're gonna turn that on and then turn on some of the blue in the shadow. And if you want, you know what? I'm gonna lower down this effect just a little bit. Let's pull our opacity down just a little bit. There we go. And that's a great image. So you could, could continue editing from here. You could add lens flares and like, you know, all kinds of like, you know, crazy colors and things like that. You could keep on going, but this is, I feel like a really good starting place for an image. So if you guys are struggling with your white balance or your editing and you pull in, you know, you're pulling in some blues, but it does mess up your skin tones. This is a great way to make sure your skin tones are good, get a good starting point, And then you can go ahead and edit from there.
and that makes it easy. Guys, if you have any questions about this or like you're trying to follow along and this seems a little bit too complicated, check out our Photoshop 101 tutorial. It's awesome. It's like two and a half hours long. Goes through, actually I think it's three and a half hours long. It basically goes through like every single tool and every step in Photoshop and uh, it'll get you up to speed. So it's really great. Thanks so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to. And <laughs> no, actually, even if you don't want to, you should do it. Photoshop is awesome and uh, we're here to teach you Photoshop. So thanks so much guys and we'll learn you later. Bye everyone.